What's up, what's up everybody? Um, I just wanted to share some information with y'all. Um, I like to look back on my videos before major successes or major failures. I like to record videos so that I know where my thoughts was before I knew the outcome of a particular opportunity that I was taking and I do this a lot. Um, I have a lot of them. I usually don't share them. I'm probably going to share this one because I'm confident that what I'm working on is going to be highly, highly successful. So I am. I've, I have 24 inventions. Okay, out of the 24 inventions that I've created, the design, the concept, and and um and actually put the concept together to make it a rock solid product. Um, I'm really excited about one in particular, and I was so excited about it. And the timing is perfect to where I just began working with this company, um, working with this team of professionals that's actually helping me design the product completely to a standard of the industry that I'll be tapping into. It's also helping me um, build the prototype. Um, and we're also working with different companies that could possibly want to, um, to buy the license to sell this particular product, which means residual for me. So, um, First and foremost, if you hear me talking, um, if you hear me talking positive about this particular invention, it's because I really believe in it, and I want to. Even if, if even if no matter what type of product this is, I want to speak good things on it so that I can speak good things into existence. So, don't take me speaking boastfully about the product or the invention as I'm being big-headed or I'm um, jumping conclusions I am trying to speak what I say into existence trying to speak things as they are because I I do want to be successful at, at this particular project that I'm working on so it's an invention that I'm working on and if this particular product is successful and the patent goes through or if the whole process goes well I can make anywhere from 250 to maybe 32 million dollars off this particular idea and concept the reason I want to do this video is because I wanted to say this. I like to see where I am before a particular success so that afterwards I can go back to that video and be like, wow, I'm watching this video of how I thought before the success came and look at the results. You see what I mean? You may not understand the power in that, but I'm going to try to break it down to you. For an example. I know what it was like when I was in Los Angeles, California, and that was before I flew out here to Orlando and took on the opportunity. I seen all of the sacrifices that I made in California. I know everything that I was doing to bring my dream into a reality. And the look that some people gave me, the look that some people gave me when they fired, so you gave up your job, you sung on the street, bought a ticket, and you flew all the way to California for what now? To pursue my singing career. And what are you expecting to come out of this? To become a full-time singer. So you live on the street, you sing at karaoke every day, um, you perform at the pier to make your money, which is good money, you've proved that, but what's, the, what, what's next? I didn't have to have all the answers. Only thing I knew I was gonna do my part, and that's what I did. Now, looking back over the videos that I did like this, when I was actually homeless and working on trying to create opportunities for myself, et cetera, et cetera, looking back on those decisions that I made, if I never would have quit my job, if I never would have left, if I wasn't singing every day, if I, did, haven't made the if I didn't make the decisions that I made, there would be no way I would probably be standing in front of this camera having this conversation with the amount of success that has been generated from my efforts up to this point okay so um looking back on the videos when I was in that circumstances I had no idea what was next I had no idea what that next level was only thing that I knew I was preparing myself when that success when that opportunity came I was making sure that I was ready and I was putting myself in a position to be in a better circumstance okay I had to quit and get away from that work life and break free from that get into the mindset that no matter who believes in me, no matter what nobody thinks, I'm gonna do this positively, I'm gonna do it, do this with confidence, faith, and I'm gonna believe that something is gonna happen. And I look back on those videos and I knew the mindset that I was in when I look back at those videos. And I can look at those videos now and say, I had no idea 
what the future held for me. But now that I know, I know I made the right decisions. I see that all the looks that people gave about the um, decisions that I made to try to get where I am now today, they look down on it. And now I can look back at those videos and say, wow, that guy on this video made the right decisions. That guy deserved everything that he, that he earned. The, the, the sacrifices, the risks, what I gave up, um, um, the, the circumstances that I, that I endured, it, it, it was worth it. It was a lot to go through. It's just like military. You got to go through boot camp. Before you can get out there on the field, I mean, before you can get out there, you got to go through the ASVAB, you got to go through boot camp, you got to prove that you, you, you really deserve, need, and qualify for that particular position. So I'm saying all that to say this. I expect this, um, this new invention to be highly successful. I want to be able to look back at this video before whatever success that I create. And yes, I am going to say success because I do feel that I know, I know that this opportunity that I'm creating for my children and myself is going to be profitable, it's going to be successful, and it's going to open up doors for more opportunities for myself and everybody affiliated with me. So um, I'm thankful for where I am. I'm thankful for my mindset and my belief. And um, can you see that? Anyway, so whatever you believe in, go get it. Go get it. Go chase your dream. Go figure out what you want. Make up your mind that's what you want. And go get it. You know why that's a good decision? Because you can do it. You can do anything you put your mind to. I, if, before I used to think, that was just a little nice saying. It's not just a nice saying. It's true. If you want something, you pursue it long enough you overcome all the obstacles and keep persistent be positive don't let anyone discourage you understand that your opportunity is in your own hand you can crush it or make it up it's in your hands it's up to you if you never try you just waste it probably a good life you never know you would have had you know but um always think outside the box who would have known me working on an invention when I when I sat down and said you know what this is why I started the invention thing I sat back and said you know what I am expecting to run into a lot of money whether it's two million three million five million ten twelve million a hundred million two hundred and fifty thousand I am expecting to run into a lot of money because I'm looking seeking to make that so I can do better for my children so I can be able to to um, provide for my children, not only as teenagers, but as an, as adults. If they have inventions, if they have businesses, if they have um, um, artistry work that they need investments of 60,000, 100,000, a million, I wanna be that father that can provide that, that upfront money, that investment to help them make their dreams come true. So if, if I'm going to be able to do something like that, I'm gonna to need to find a way to make that much money. So I said, if I'm going to need a way to make more money. Like let's say if I started a business and, and now I got two million and my business is running profitable, I'm gonna need something else because I want multiple streams of income. The best concept that I can come up with is create inventions. Create one or two good inventions. Create, you, some people can make one invention and be set for life. Some people can make five or six inventions and have enough to live really well. You see what I mean? So one invention can take you make all the money you need look at bill gates look at um look at all these people that that has invented things and became very successful monetarily so i said i'm going to sit down and every time i think of something that that could be recreated redesigned or that can be something brand new i'm going to write it down in my invention book and i'm not going to let anybody see it here i am eight years later i have 24 inventions and i finally came up with one that supersedes everything i ever thought of and i just found that out a week ago and now I'm already moving forward to make bring that into a reality I'm not talking about it I'm not saying oh I should I don't just have it in a book and say oh I ain't got the money I, I'm, I am making it happen I believe I've seen one of my dreams come true I don't have to stop there that's why this video is being being recorded right now because 
whatever happens in the future, I am, I am speaking into existence that my invention is going to be highly successful. And I will be known very greatly for this invention. And wait, you find out what it is. And I'm going to be known very gratefully for this invention. I am going to be owner of the patent. That means for 20 years, everyone can only get this product from me. So that means I can license this product out to corporations so they can make a profit off of it as long as they pay me royalties, okay? I'm going to use this income to prepare a future for my children so they don't have to struggle like I did. By me not having to be in my children's life every day, I gave up something. I gave up a lot of time to be with my children. But I said I have two choices. I can stay in a city where it's hard for me to make a generated income and be around my children and help them live and survive and all the other stuff. And I'll be just as broke working at a McDonald's or whatever I'm doing, making an average wage. And I'll be there for my children. They'll see me every day. But at the end of the day, only thing I can do is give them advice. Financially, I can't support them. I can't show for nothing. I don't have any success. I'm just an employee. When I die, I get a bracelet or something from after I retire. Barely have money when it when it comes to me being in my 60s, 50s. I don't have. I got to keep a job. Like I don't want to live that life, and I don't want them to live like that. So I decided that um, the time that I am away from my children, I'm going to build a future. I'm going to build the finances. I'm going to build the empire. I'm going to do. I'm going to do what. I'm going to do whatever is necessary so that when they're an adult. They don't have to pay for college. They don't have to worry about a place to stay. They don't have to worry about transportation. They don't have to worry about suspended driver's license. They don't have to worry about um, how I'm gonna pay this. They don't have to worry about clothes and shoes. Like, they don't have to worry about where I'm gonna get investment money for my business. They don't have to worry about none of that stuff. I want to be able to, to support them to where from that, that teenager to young adult to adult transition is very smooth. And I wanna be the reason, I wanna be the one that makes that happen because um, their mother is doing a great job of raising them. But one thing she can't do, or she won't be able to say, is that um, I can make a million dollar investment on any business that you have, or that you want to create. Or if you want to be a singer, I can put down $60,000 for your recording album. Or whatever the case may be, I want to leave my children a fortune. I want to leave them uh, uh, an empire so that they can build on top of that and hopefully pass down to their children as well. And guess what? I have created a new trend for my family, my bloodline, starting with my children. But granddaddy, I will be the granddaddy of the kings. I started this by going out and using this separation from my children. I used this time away from them to create something. And everybody that knows me, I spent every day of my life focused on that one goal that's being successful, making enough money to build this empire to take care of my children. I haven't been drinking. I haven't been partying. I don't do drugs. I don't hang out. I, if I'm affiliated with somebody, it's for business purposes. We're not just cool because I'm cool. We don't hang out just because um, we're nice guys. If we're doing something, we're building something constructive, we're working on a business plan. Like Every time anybody's affiliated with me, it's always been business. From the moment that I separated from my baby mom and left my kids, from that point up into this video today, I haven't used my time for anything leisure. It's always been on the grind to create an empire for my children. It always have been that. That's why you haven't seen me clubbing and partying and showing off and showboating. It's always been about my children. I'm using this time away from them where I don't see them every single day to build an empire so that they don't have to worry about nothing when they're my age okay so this video is going to give me that opportunity to see where my mindset is today before I got large and successful and before I got this big million multi-million dollar product might even become a billionaire I don't know yes I'm, I'm gonna become a billionaire I gotta speak it into existence uh, I whatever I become I want to be able to look back on this video and to show the people that's watching it as well. I don't know what, I, the, the invention, it's a possibility that invention doesn't work. It's a possibility that it, it, fal it falters and it doesn't work out, whatever the case may be. But I'm speaking into existence that when this is, this is a success, I can replay this video and let everyone that see before I became anything, when I was a normal person just like you, I was normal. I didn't have millions of dollars. I couldn't 
I couldn't even afford to, to get a passport to leave the country. I couldn't pay off my driver's license. I slept on a bench in California for six months. You see what I'm saying? So, I'm never on drugs. I'm not a um, uh, not an alcoholic. Even when I was in the street, I don't drink. I've spent more than half of my life. Well, I spent more than eight years in a bar singing karaoke. Ask anybody how many drinks they saw me drink. That's eight years. I don't do any drugs. I don't spend my money on, um, I used to smoke cigarettes. I've been done with that for two years. I can save more money and invest more. And all that money that I'll spend on cigarettes, now I can use that extra money yearly for investment to possibly open up something else. So, those of you that are looking at this video, hopefully this is 20 years from today, you're watching this. Hopefully 20 years from the day that I recorded this video. And you can see, wow, he had this mindset before he made the money, before he became super popular. And what I want you to get out of this is the mindset is what creates this. The mindset is how you do this, nothing else. It's not about who you know or what you know. That sounded so wrong. Because it's not about who you know or what you know, it's both. All right, so that's my rant. Peace, y'all.